Hello everyone, welcome to Theme World. So I get a lot of people in the comments basically asking me, how do I create a contact form within my WordPress site where whenever the user fills out the form, I get notified about it via email or the user that fills out the form gets an email back basically saying, hey, thank you for reaching out to us. We'll get back to you very soon. How do you do something like that? Don't worry about it because in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. We'll be creating a contact form and we'll set up email notifications for the admin as well as the user that is filling out the form. So let's learn how to do that. But before we do, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. All right, so here we are with an, a fresh new WordPress installation. Now, to receive email notifications whenever someone fills out a form, first of all, we're gonna need a form. So let's go ahead and let's quickly create a form for ourselves using the Everest Forms plugin. So let's go within plugins, add new plugin and search for Everest Forms. It should pop up right here. Simply click on install now and activate. There you go, the plugin has been activated. And as soon as the plugin has been activated, you'll be greeted to this Everest Forms dashboard right here. So by default, you will already have a form created for you. If you go within all forms, there will be this default contact form right here. So if I click on it, then here you can see we already have this form right here. Now, if you want to drag any other fields within this form, then you are free to do so. Like suppose here I want a phone field and I can simply go down here. I can select phone field, drag and drop it right there. If I want to make this field required, it's pretty easy as well. I can simply click on the field and here within my field options, I can make it required. Maybe if I want to change its label, then I can simply edit it right here. I can say phone number and I can save this form just like so. Now let's preview this form in a page of ours. For me, it's going to be the contact page that I've created here. I'm simply going to edit the page. And this right here is where I need my contact form. So I'm simply going to click on my apps drawer right here or your blocks inserter, whatever you want to call it. Click on it and you'll have this Everest Forms block right here. Simply drag and drop it wherever you want the form and select the form that we've just created or the form that Everest Forms has provided. So let's select that form and let's delete this by the way. Let me just delete. Okay. So there we go, there is our form. Okay, I'm not too sure why the form is showing up like this. Let me save the page first and let me refresh this. There it is, our form is showing up just fine. So yeah, this is our form right here. If you wanna make this form a little bit more dynamic, you can do that by dragging and dropping in fields that you would want to from within your Everest Forms form builder. Now, basically we have this form, right? If someone comes in, they fill out this form, they click on submit, then the form will be submitted. And if we go back within our WordPress admin dashboard here from within entries, you will be able to view the entry or whatever the user has filled out within the form submission. You can simply view it. You can review the information and that is good. But the problem is this entry right here just stays within your website. There's no way to be notified about this form submission right here. So now let's go ahead and let's set up our email notification so that you will be notified each time anyone fills out this form right here. So to do that, let's go back within our all forms menu and let's edit the form that we've just created. And here from within form settings, you'll be able to find this email menu right here. Simply click on it and you already have a notification set up. This notification right here called the email notification is what you're looking for. So this is the email notification that will be mailed to the admin of the website. This all fields right here, it basically renders everything that the user has filled out. Let me show you a preview right here. So this is the kind of thing that you're gonna get within your email. So these right here are all the field information that the user would fill out within the form. You've got your field label and what the user has filled out. And you've got your generic email subject, which in this current instance, Instance is going to be new form entry and here you've got settings for this notification right here who do you want this notification to be sent to is the to address basically and by default it is set to the admin email so whichever admin email you have for your WordPress website, this email will be sent to them. Now, if you want this email to be sent to a totally different email address or to multiple different email addresses, well, then you can do that. Now, in my case, I want this admin notification whenever someone fills out the form to be sent into my email, Sid Atherate testgrill.net. This is just a test email that I have. So yeah, your from name is going to be whatever website name you have. For me, the website name currently is set to subscribe, which also means you need to subscribe. Anywho, the from address here is the interesting bit. From address is basically from which address you want the email to be sent from. So in this case, whenever I'm receiving this email notification, which address will be sending the email to me? This is basically what it means. Here by default, it sets it to the admin email. Now, if you have a dedicated webmail from which you want all these emails to be handled, well, then you can put that webmail within here. Here, I'm going to put the same webmail that I have. 
So this email notification will be sent out from this email address right here. And also whenever you're trying to send any sort of email from your WordPress website, just make sure you have SMTP set up within your WordPress site. If you don't know what SMTP is, I'll leave a helpful link down in the description below. Make sure to set that up as well. Within this website, I have my SMTP set up. So yeah, I'm going to be using this email address, which is going to be sending the email. And this one is going to be receiving the email pretty straightforward. Now here you might be wondering, I'm sending an email from Sid Adderate to again Sid Adderate this is possible, by the way, you can mail yourself, just letting you know. Anywho, here we have our email subject right here, which is basically going to say new form entry. And here we have this email message, which says all the fields. So what does this mean? Let me fill out the form for you and let me show you how it's going to work. So here, let me show you what it would look like by filling out the form. So here we have our form. I'm simply going to fake fill it for now. Click on submit. And there we go. Our form has been submitted. So now within my inbox right here, if I refresh it, this is my webmail by the way, said at the rate testquill.net. This is where I'll be receiving the email. So there we go. Here we have our form entry. It says new form entry. And if I click on it, it's going to show everything that the user has filled out within the form. In our case, it's the name, the phone number field, the email field, subject and message. And here, suppose if you want to send out more information, then you can simply go back within your form builder. And if I just type in anything here like hi, save it then this message will basically be shown right here with the information that the user has filled out within your form. This works well for admin notifications. So congrats, you have set up your email notification system. Whenever someone fills out a form within your website, you'll be notified about it. Pretty simple. Now you can also do another thing here, and that is you can set up multiple different notifications. So suppose I can add a new email here and I can call it user notification. So here within your to address, you can basically remove this for now. So this email notification, since I've named it user notification, I want this notification to be sent to the user that is filling out the form, like a thank you message saying basically, hey, thank you for filling out the form. We'll reach out to you as soon as possible, whatever. So yeah, here, what you can do is you can click on this icon right here and it's going to show all the available fields that we've used within the form for which an email can be sent to and naturally in this case it's going to be this email field right here so you can simply click on the email field so yeah, this basically means the email field that we have within our form whatever it is that the user fills out within it in this case it's going to be their email this user notification email will basically be sent to that email address so I hope it made sense I'll show you more so don't even worry about it so yeah, here within the from name it's going to be the same it's going to be the name of your website you can change it as well the from address if you want to change it you can in my case i will there it is so now reply to this is basically if the user wants to reply to this email where will the reply be sent to that's basically what it means so for now i'm just going to leave it as it is now the email subject here you can make some changes and you can type in something like a thank you for reaching out and you can do cool stuffs in here like hey you can get their name so you can make this message more personalized and what i mean by that is you can again click on this icon right here and the name field that we have you can simply click on it and oops it rendered down here let me copy this and paste it in here so whatever the name the user fills out within the form like their full name it's basically going to say within this email notification hey suppose i've filled out my name as sid then it's going to say hey sid thank you for reaching out to us we have got contact to request our team will reach out to you following is the information that you filled out within the form and all fields is basically going to render everything that the user has filled out within the form now let's go ahead let's save this form and since we've set everything up so here let's fill out this form once again and this time, while I'm fake filling it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my own email so that I can show you from a user's perspective what email they're going to receive. So yeah, there it is. I've set my email as well and I'm going to submit the form. There it is. Our form has been submitted and now any second our mails should be landing. And there it is here. I've got my email. So this right here is from the user's perspective, what they would see basically. So it's going to say, thank you for reaching out. Hey, Florence, whatever the name is that they've filled out within the form. And then it's going to say, thank you for reaching out to us. We've got your contact request. Our team will reach out to you. Following is the information that you filled out within the form and your users as well. They can review what information they filled out within the form. And just like we've set up before, our admin email notification has been sent to the admin as well. So yeah, if I click on this here, it's just going to say hi. 
and yeah this is the information that the person has filled out so very simple this is basically how you send out email notifications to yourself or the user whenever someone fills out the form so that's about it so i hope you guys found that video helpful if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe and if you want to learn more about the everest forms plugin that i showed you in this video then be sure to check out the helpful links down in the description and yeah i guess that's about it for this video i'm sid and i'll see you whenever i'll see you take care